Um, but Daniel uh, Quiroz and John Clayton, they sent us a BuzzFeed article about all the horrific things that happened in Australia, like snakes eating crocodiles and spiders the size of your face and all sorts like of shit. Like the top 25 yeah. horrific things in Australia. Yeah. Now, because we're from Melbourne, Mason, we don't see a lot of that, do we? I've had like nine of them happen to me. So, <laughs> really? Yeah. So what would you say? Do you have any like stories relating to horrific monster animals that we have here? Um, Bear in mind, the stuff that kills you here, it's not really, it's mostly not big stuff. It's just little poisonous stuff. Yes, yeah, ticks and stuff. Spiders. <laughs> white tail spider. Yeah, though they've yeah. never killed anyone. Yeah. True story. Hmm. But yeah, you got anything in particular, like a spider's fallen on your face? Hit a kangaroo with my car once. <laughs> but it was like, it jumped right out in front of me and I slowed down to like five kilometers an hour and I just sort of tapped it. And it looked at me puzzled and it walked away. It hopped away. That's what kangaroos do. Man. But they're indestructible. They, yeah, they are. I've had, I know multiple people who they have fucked up their cars on yeah, a kangaroo. Yeah. Mm. My brother, uh, my older brother, is obsessed with this particular kangaroo. Which I can't remember what he calls it. But he, um, we, we, we it's go. It's his nemesis. For, it's his nemesis, yeah. We go for runs or walks in this particular park. We take our dogs. It's a delightful experience. Uh-huh. And there's this one kangaroo that is just, it looks like it's jacked. Like it is, like it's worked enormous. out like a mad dog. It's like a mad dog, uh-huh. like shoulders, like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, it is the Arnold Schwarzenegger of kangaroos. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> My um, I we, we don't there's get there's not as many kangaroos as you'd think. No, there's not, especially not where we live. Oh, we have foxes and shit as well, which yeah. you introduced. But all the real dangerous stuff is up north. As you know, I used to live up north in a very, very remote town uh-huh. briefly for a year. It was a nightmare, as you're well aware. I'm aware. But um, it was it was beautiful in the sense that it was very remote and, and whatever. But you couldn't. There was water everywhere because it was on the coast. But you couldn't swim because of the because of the the amount of crocodiles and sharks that were out there. Uh-huh. And we used to take a fishing boat out every weekend. And so there were a lot of local guys there, like indigenous guys, and they they had no problem with it. They just go in the water. But you could see the crocs in the water, uh-huh. and it, you could see just the heads. And for anyone who's never seen a crocodile, they're they're terrifying. All the dinosaurs were wiped out and whatever, except for the crocodiles and that we know about. That we know about. That's Thank right. You. And they're just they're pure. All that the, all the instinct is to just kill yep. anything that basically comes across it, and you see the heads in the water. So if a meter, one the one who was at this particular spot, the boat launching ramp, was the head was a meter long, but the that means that it's four times five times the length of the head. Right. So this croc was five six meters long. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so every week we take this boat out, and you'd have to take the boat out waist deep into the water Ugh. to launch it. Yep. To get it going and get it set up. And I'd be standing waist deep in the water with a mate of mine who was there. He's a great, great guy, Andrew. I think he listened to the show. Hello, Andrew. Great bloke. And, sh- like, shitting myself every week. Because you never get used to that. Uh-huh. The local's like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, it's not fine. I can literally see a crocodile. And these things can swim like you fucking could not believe. They're, like, you see one, it goes down to the water. It could be on you in, like, three seconds. Uh-huh. They're ridiculous. I fucking hate crocodiles. Wow. In addition to that... That's your vendetta. That's my vendetta. Crocodiles. <laughs> I just hate them. They spook me right out. But they're like, I'm like, why do you swim in here? Local, uh-huh. the, like, to the local guys. And like, it's fine. They go, well, what's your trick? And they go, you know what you do? Whenever you feel like, like there's a crocodile, you get out of the water. I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's not anything. Right. You're not magic. Don't uh-huh. tell me this way. <laughs> that's nonsense. Mm. So yeah. Hate Australian animals. <laughs> right, yeah, that's that's the point, yeah. Yeah. That we're trying to make here. So there you go. Yeah. That's the show for this week, Mason. I love it. So anything that you want to plug? Nah. I, I hate coriander. <laughs> no, not not the Teen Titans character, the, the spice. I hate it. And for some reason, I'm airing my grievances on a podcast about superheroes. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. I hate this guy... From my high school that I haven't spoken to in 10 years. I'm Why my... is he doing so many sit-ups on Facebook? I'm airing my grievances on this superhero <laughs> podcast for some reason. Anti-microbe. Anti-microbe. anti it, it doesn't... It's it's okay when you're sweating it. Ah, <laughs> oh, so many great memories. So many good memories. Yes. Thanks for putting that together, by no the way. No problem. It took hours. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shoot.